In this Olive tutorial I will show you how to edit a sequence of video clips. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, This version of Olive still is in uh, the alpha stage so it may have a few faults but I, I found it works quite well so um, I thought I'd just do this quick tutorial. I'm not going to go into anything complicated, I'm not going to go into proxy um, editing which this is capable of doing but that is a little bit ropey right now so I'm just going to do some basic editing. So the first thing, bring in uh, your videos into Olive. You've got a couple of options, you can right click here and then left click on import and find your way through your uh, videos and then select them and click open but that's a long route what I always do is uh, on any video editor is actually open up a file browser and then just select the videos I want to use reduce it down in size and literally hold my left mouse button down and drag it into this area here we can close this down now OK so we've got four videos. I'm going to select the first one, then right click on it, and then left click preview in media viewer. And it will come up here. As this is a short clip, I'm just going to play it to the point where I want it to start. And then left click to stop it. Now if you right click in this line here, this timeline here, you get a couple of options. So as this is going to be the start, I'm going to left click set in point. Also make a note of the I and the O because it makes it a little bit quicker but we'll do it this way. So I'm going to just left click set in point. And I'll play the video again and stop it at the point or I want it to stop. Right click and this time left click on set out point or press letter O. Once you've done that, place your pointer in the viewer, hold your left mouse button down and just drag it into the timeline. So once you've done that, select the next clip, right click on it and then preview in media viewer. Now this time I'm going to just drag this red marker along by holding my left mouse button down on it. Drag it along reasonably slowly because like I said this isn't using proxy clips. So we'll start it here, right click and then left click set in point and then I'm going to just drag this along again to the point where I want it to finish. So we'll finish about here right click and then left click set out point place your pointer in this viewer left mouse button down drag it into the timeline and then drag it up so it snaps to the first video clip you'll see it snap because there's a white line will flash up when I get it right there you are do your next clip select it right click on it and then preview in media viewer. Now this is quite a long clip and one thing at present the this media viewer doesn't is compress the track down to match the end so I know this goes on for quite some time so I'm going to just left click sort of at different points and then you can move this slider along by using your left mouse button and somewhere here train starts to appear and there it is there so I'll just drag this along a little bit more then right click set out point and then this goes on for quite some length if you like so what you can do is you can drag this along and then just left click at a point until you get roughly to where you want to be so this is far too gone too far. Let's have a look. 
think I'll play this actually it's probably easier so there we'll stop it there right click and then left click set out point and again drag it in to your timeline till it snaps and we'll do one more this one here select it right click on it then left click preview in media viewer and this is another video that goes on forever and a day so I'll select this point I'll go even further than that here I think I'll press play actually it's probably easier on this tutorial there's a point where this wobbles a bit so I want to miss that point there it is there so right click set in point and I'll just play this now to the point where I want it to finish and using this slider and then right click and then set out point and again drag your video into the timeline till it snaps up now we can play this video and see what it looks like by pressing this button here by left clicking on it now we'll probably skip a bit because the acceleration on the video isn't that brilliant normally I would use proxy clips on long videos It's froze up there. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So, just very quickly, if you come up to File, left click on File, and then left click Export, and you'll get some options come up here. First of all, your format. If you left click on the Format tab, you get different options of what you want to use. So, I'm going to change this to MKV. And then audio again you can left click where it says AAC and change your audio so we'll change this to MP3 and then if you left click on export navigate to somewhere where you want to save your video so I'll just dump this on the desktop give it a title at the top that'll do and then left click on save and you'll see this bar will come over and when it gets to the end I'll come back to this and show you the final result once your video is finished rendering hopefully you should have something that plays reasonably well Hopefully this helps somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.